Uh, this is the image that I just wanted to use, something real simple, to talk about some of the tools that are here. You know, we've got tools like Move and so on, just like you would with any data in MicroStation. We can use some of the simple tools like Move, right? So Move, what would you do if this was a MicroStation element? Well, you might snap to a certain location and use it to uh, 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 as the origin point to move it. There's really no difference in the raster side of things. If I want to pick toward the very center of it, I might select there and, and move it. If I, uh, if I wanted to do that same thing, you know, I come in and say, let's move that, you know, from the lower right-hand corner or lower left-hand corner, I could use the snap, the snap to the, the, uh, uh, the border, if you will, of the, of the image itself. But what else, you know, could I do to it? Well, in MicroStation, we might use things like uh, AccuDraw, right? And we might set an origin to be able to move this from. There's no difference here. If I have it selected and I go to edit and, and move and so on, it asks me a point to move it from. If I was to give a data point outside it, it works just like the way a fence might. You can see it, it's moving it relative to that point. Now you'll also notice that there's a, the icons that are up there, right? So you've got all the matching icons and they match what's in here, but you have another one called transform. Now what's the difference for this one? Well, frankly, from a level of move and scale and rotate, none. Uh, it's the same as what you see up here. But the big difference is there's a command here for setting an actual origin. So there's actually a sort of a, a standalone tool in this toolbox that says, hey, I want that point to be my origin. And now I want to move it relative to that. Oops, I clicked on it, didn't I? That's, I did it wrong. No, no, let's make the actual tool again. And using this tool here to be able to set that origin, and then do a simple move. And when I pick it and go to move it, it's using that origin point that it defined. So the tools, again, pretty much the same. There's really no, not much of a difference. We do have a, an origin point that appears here, or an anchor point, I guess I should say, for things like uh, the rotate and the scale uh, tools that are there. Now, the scale tool that's here, a little bit different, uh, you do have you know, things like your method, being able to set this and say, okay, I want that to be, you know, just like you would when placing a cell or using the standard scale tool, you know, you can set the, uh, uh, the, the, the active scale. You also have the ability to do a three point scale and also to set this proportional. So if I don't want to distort the image, I'm going to want to turn that on and say, hey, I want there and there as my two points and my third point making it larger or making it smaller. I have a three-point scale, the standard scale, where I type in the, uh, the active scale as well. So not too much different. If you know how to use the uh, uh, vector tools, then you're probably pretty much uh, good here as well, the rotate tools. So we've got active, you know, rotate, which is what? Your active angle. You can key in a value in here. Hey, we're going to rotate this by 45 degrees. Okay, so it rotates it great. Let me slide this, some of this stuff out of the way. And I probably made that a little too big, but that's okay. I think you all can see it. If you can't, let me let me know. Um, and under the rotate tools, same thing that you know we had in uh, just the some of the other tools. We have a two point rotate and you know a three point rotate as well uh, that we had for like scale and some of the tools that are here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.